Welcome to the Huxley Public Library and Kathy's Corner. Come on in and see what we have. The library is full of great new books, new stories, and new adventures. Just look at all the things we have to explore here. Come on in. We're going to read some stories. Welcome back to Kathy's Corner. I have been so busy this summer, and I bet you have been too. There's been a lot of things going on and lots of things to do. My friends Cork and Fuzz in this story went swimming. I bet you've been swimming. I love getting in the water when it's hot. And it's always good to get the books about safety with swimming too. Hey, and remember when we went horseback riding? I found another book about that. I hope some of you have had a chance to try it. Being outside and getting exercise is just perfect in the summer. Maybe even fishing, if you're by the water swimming. And I just got finished sharing one of my favorite books with some friends here in the library about Curious George riding his bike. <laughs> Curious George always has great adventures. He got down by the water too. Got some boats in the water, riding his bike along. But you know what I really want to do now is get outside and ride my bike. Would you like to come along? I've got a perfect place we can ride and maybe even some friends we can meet. Let's go. Mike Knox. Hi Kathy. How are you? Doing good. I was just you? out cruising on my bike, thought I'd come over and see what you were doing. Well, I'm just doing a little cleaning and maintenance and uh, taking care of my bicycle. Great. I was reading stories to the kids back at the library about bikes and bicycling trails and bicycling safety. I wondered if you'd want to share some things that you know about bikes with them. Sure. Yeah. Hey, great. Yeah. Let's talk for a while. You bet. Uh, where can I put my bike? I don't have a kickstand on this one. Well. A good thing to do would be to find a, a grassy area okay. and set it down on the side away from the chain so the okay. chain doesn't get in it, get in Great. the dirt, okay? Well, that makes a lot of sense. So just set it down nicely. Okay. That works good. I'm going to take my helmet off while we talk. I good to see talk. a helmet. Well, that's important, isn't it? It is. Yeah, because you never know. You might hit something, you go crash, you got to protect. Why, that's why they call them accidents. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, your bike does not look like mine at all. Yeah, they're a little different. Uh, they're, there's uh, not a lot of them around, but they're becoming more popular. Yeah, what yeah. do you call this bike? Well, it, we, we call it a trike, and this is a delta-type okay. delta type trike. And then there's, there's other trikes with two wheels in the front okay. and only one in the back. And those are called tadpoles. <laughs> does it turn into a frog? No. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. So, hmm, I first learned how to ride a trike. I yeah. didn't have a bike when I was really yeah. little. So maybe when you get big, then it's fun to have that back again? It is. We don't fall over at all. Good job. <laughs> so what you said you're cleaning. Yeah. Why do you bother to clean it? Oh, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, things that need to be oiled on a, on a bike. I mean, okay. you need to oil the, and maintain the cables so that everything slides on shifting. I mean, you have gears to shift right. and all that. Right, right. And then uh, uh, the chains, the chains, because they can get rusty, especially if they set outside. We try yeah. to keep ours inside. Okay. Yeah. But there's a lot of times you don't get your bike in the garage, yeah. it stays outside. Mm -hmm. Or I know kids bring their bikes up to the library all the time. We have a bike rack out front there sure. and once in a while it starts raining while they're there. Yeah. So then they got to make sure they take care of that too. Huh? The main thing is to just dry it off at some time and get a little okay. more oil on it. Okay. Yeah. It's well, good. show me what you're doing here. Where do we need to put that oil? On? Well, I tell you, the, we, on this bike, there's two chains. There's a chain here and a chain there. Yeah. So what I do is, is I will, I will uh, raise it and then, and then move it, move, move the wheel and the chain. Mm -hmm. And when the chain moves, then I, then I put oil on oh, it as oil. it's moving. Okay. And then I'll wipe off the excess. Yep, so you don't drip yeah. all over your driveway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I do that. And... and Cables. You were talking about cables. Yeah, they're shifter cables Let's for see. different gears, and you have them too. Yeah. And those gears and the, those shifters need to be lubricated so that they don't get stiff. I know. I shift mine. I if I'm going uphill, I need yeah. a totally different gear than when I'm going back. That's downhill. right. That's right. Even in town. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, you got gloves too. I wear gloves. I like these, and especially on the trike because they have they have mirrors, and then when I'm riding, I can see behind me. 
You know, I've got a rear view mirror on another bike I have at home in my garage. Mm -hmm. I have a little mirror on my handlebars. Sure. Use that all the time. Yeah, you want to know what's behind you so that when you change lanes or want to mm -hmm. slow down, you, you need to know what the rest of the traffic's doing. Yeah. So I think a bike trail is just like the road, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm going down my bike trail, I always stay on the right-hand side. Should stay on the right-hand side mm -hmm. and, and watch, uh, allow the walkers to have room because it's part of their trail too. Mm -hmm. So so walkers are going clear on the right yeah. and then I can ride my bike beside them. Well, you could pass on the left, but only when it's safe. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of trails around. They're all really nice. Oh, there's some really nice trails around yeah. Huxley. I think we we're enjoy lucky. Them. Yeah, it's great to be yeah. here. Yeah. So where's your favorite trail? Well, we, ride? we ride the High Trestle Trail a lot. Yeah. We, uh, and, you know, it's, uh, there, there's a lot of trail there, mm -hmm. and we can get as many, many miles as we want. So do you start here in Huxley? We don't. We, get, we put them in the truck and take them over to the trail. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes that gravel road is a pain, isn't it? Well, it could be. <laughs> it could be, you know. And, and, uh, but, but you, you know, I think we can all just get along and share the road and do all oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind going on the road. I just, it, the gravel road's bumpy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's you, see. You know, you were uh, you mentioned some some bicycle, some other bicycle things. Mm -hmm. um, we make sure we always have a lot of water with us when oh, we ride. Oh, I do too. Yeah, yeah, because it gets hot, and uh, and you can dry out in a hurry. So we so have yeah. water bottles. Yep. And for a long ride, we we put a, a Camelback on the back, and we'll fill this with water. And oh, then, sure. And then we have a hose. We can take a drink anytime we want to. So you don't even have to stop. No. You can just reach back there. Just keep going. Grab that. Get yeah. a good drink of water. And and this that holds a lot of water. And that keeps it good and cold too, doesn't it? It can help it's insulate it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we do Great that. Great idea. I know. I always have to have water too. Boy, you won't even yeah. feel good if you go for a bike ride and you don't have any water. You'll I've, get sick, won't yeah, you? Yeah, you will get sick. That's I've, important. And I've done I, that. I think kids even just riding around town got to have that water mm -hmm. and the one thing that i wrote up you commented i was wearing a helmet mm -hmm. yeah. boy even if you're just hopping on your bike oh. to go to the neighbor's house you, you know most accidents happen real close to home mm -hmm. because you're so comfortable with the surroundings and you kind of relax and take it easy and mm -hmm. and uh, and that's when it happens when i noticed even just coming down here to your house there's a lot of cars and trucks parked along the street yeah and if i'm coming between those yeah. Somebody might not see if you're me. Com if you're coming out of a driveway, you got to be real careful with parked yeah. cars because the the other cars may not see you when you yeah. want to ride. That's right. Yeah. So, boy, you're coming out of your driveway with your bike. Get your helmet on. Stop there at the end. Make sure nobody's coming. Be safe. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, you know you don't want to. No one wants to get hurt. It's a great yeah. way to get around town. Oh, it's easy. Yeah. And. and you know, we're grown-ups. We have to pay for gas in our cars. Yeah. We get on our bike to go to work. That it's, doesn't cost anything. It's good for you, too. It's really good for you. Yeah. 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 Get some exercise. Yep. Yeah. Well, I know I love to see it in front of the library when that bike rack is full of bikes. Yes. Because I know the kids are out getting some exercise. They're enjoying the fresh air. And they're coming up to check out some of those books with me. Yeah, good. And we've got lots of great books about bicycle rides and safety, facts stories, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. You should come up and check some of those out too. I'd love to. Okay. I'll need to do that. <laughs> we have books in the library too about trails in Iowa. Oh yeah? So if people want to get a map or mm -hmm. want to find out some more information, they can do that too. Any books on Ragbri? I think so. Yeah? I think so. There's a few out there. There are, yeah. yeah. So it's a great place to get more information. Yeah. I am I am really impressed with this trike you've well, got here. Well, thank you. I think you. this is fun. I'm just taking another look. Well, you know, these trikes hook together. So it's like a bicycle built for two? It is. How fun. So who rides this one? My wife does. Okay. So when we want to ride together, which is all the time, we take the front wheel off. Yeah. And if you watch. Oh, you got a special attachment right there. Got a little attachment right here. Can I help and hold anything? No, you got this down, don't you? It's just that easy. Ha <laughs> ha. And now and we're together go. and we ride together. That's excellent. Yeah. That is really fun. Keeps us together. That's right. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you sharing your bike with me. Well, you're welcome. Um, I would love to take a ride with you. I'd love to have you come up and, you know, you never know, some kid might stop you because I've heard some other things about you and riding bikes that you don't always dress just like this. No, I, uh, I kind of have a favorite color. What's that? It's yellow. Yellow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What can we think of that's yellow? Hmm. Bananas? bananas you really wear a banana suit I do I've heard that mm -hmm. I'm not sure I believe it well would you like to see it I think he needs to show us if he wears a banana suit I think we need to see it in person we could do that okay 
I want to see it. Give me a couple minutes. Okay. All right. Let's wait. We're going to time him. <laughs> oh, no. We start counting down <laughs> the minutes. We'll see if he comes right back. I, uh, I can't do it in the phone booth. <laughs> <laughs> Librarians can do things in phone booths. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Well, you weren't kidding when you said you liked yellow. I do like yellow. It is Banana Man for sure. Isn't that something? Turn around here. You got a cape even? Got a hey, remember those capes we made at the library this summer? Mike's even got a Banana Man superhero cape. That's my superhero cape. That is awesome. Yeah, a friend made that for me. So I, I've just got to ask though, Mike, how did you ever start wearing a banana outfit on your bike? Well, you know, we do uh, Ragbri um, is, is the uh, July ride across the state. So people start at one side of the state and ride all the way across for Correct. a week, right? A week. A week of bike riding, and okay. So, we, so I was trying to ride that and, and uh, I wore it one day and people laughed and kind of poked fun and I felt better because it's, sometimes it's a lot of work when you're riding that much uh -huh. and I and uh, just so it was just to have fun and people laughed so <laughs> I think I it's like, great I like it when people laugh well absolutely everybody's having a good time then yeah you know you kind of look like you'd glow in the dark though would that be good for night riding it would be good for night riding <laughs> and you do want to be if you can you do you do want to be col colorful out there on the trail at night you might as well, well be seen anytime, all the time day or night sure Okay, because yeah, yeah. it's important that people see you on yep. the street. People definitely need to see you on the trail. Yeah. But what about if you were out at night? Do you have lights on your bike? We do. We have lights, and I'll, I'll wear a, um, a headlight on my... I still have my helmet. Right. And I'll wear a band yeah. around here with a headlight on it, and that, that way, wherever I look, I can see at night. Yep. And, you know, reflectors are important, mm -hmm. and uh, lights are important. A red light on back is important. So, okay, because yeah. we definitely want people to see you. And it's probably not the best idea to be on your bike after dark. No. But sometimes you stay too late at a friend's house or you're out longer than you think. If you're going to be, you, you should have a light. Got to have so a light. So people see you. Sounds like a really good idea. Okay. Well, I really like this suit. I would actually be kind of proud to be seen with you. Could I try riding on your Are bike you with sure? you? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I would love to try You'd it. You'd like to go for a ride? Yeah. Okay, but I don't ride with my cape. Oh, okay. So I, Why I'm, not? Well, it could get caught in the bicycle. Oh, okay. So that's, all those That's capes. not safe. That's not okay. safe. So the capes for the superhero capes. on your feet, not on the bike. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> right. so, let's see. What do, do I need anything to ride your bike? Any well, you need different a helmet. than mine? Okay. You need a helmet. I will get all my right. helmet All right. You get your on. helmet. I'll be right with you. <clears throat> let's see. Now, this looks actually a little bit easier than my bike. You got your helmet backwards. So, um, yeah, it, it can be easier, and it's just to have fun anyway. So, if you, I've got my brake on this. There's okay. a brake that I've set. So, if you just want to, yep, do just like that and sit down nice and easy. Okay. Yeah, and lean back, and we're going to go for a ride, okay? Sounds good to me. All right. I'm ready to go. And, and see, you don't even have to steer. Yeah. You, all you have to do I is, like this bike. All you have to do is hang on. What if I don't pedal? Do you suppose I can have the banana do all the work? You could, but I can tell when you do it. <laughs> I promise I will help. All right. Okay. Well, you want to take me back to the library? I could do that. Okay. Let's uh, go. We can get your other bike later. Okay. Okay. Ready? Here we go. All right. See how easy that is? This is excellent. See ya! <laughs> I think Garnet has a lot longer legs than it. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> so you're working pretty hard back there? Nope. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> you're not at all. Are you pedaling at I all? I am pedaling. All right. I'm helping. Well, we're not going to go down the hill then. <laughs> Hey Taylor. Hi. Hey, you've been hanging out at the library today? Yep. I'm just headed back there. I was visiting your neighbor, Mike Knox, in his banana man suit. We were talking about how to take care of his bike and uh, where to ride and things like that. Did you bring your bike to the library today? Yep. Hey, do you want to grab your helmet and bike? I was going to go over and see if Mark Pote was at the police station. Maybe find out a little bit more about bike safety and rules and where to ride, things like that. You want to come along? Sure. Sure. Grab your bike. I'm really glad you had your helmet on today. 
Banana Man was telling me how important that is. He even wears his helmet under his suit. Did you know that? Got it hooked? Got it hooked on there? Okay, let's go. See if we can find Chief Pote. Chief Pote. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Good. Hi, Taylor. How are you? It's good to see you today. You too. How are you I, doing? I ran into my buddy Taylor here on his bike, and we've been having some fun riding bikes today. I was talking to Mike Knox across town, oh, and sure. he put on his crazy banana costume oh. for us, and we talked about how to take care of your bike. But then I ran into Taylor, and I noticed he was wearing his helmet, which is A very perfect. Good thing. Yep. Perfect. But we thought maybe there were some other things we should find out about bikes on the road and the streets in town. Oh, things sure. kids really should remember about riding bikes. Sure, yeah. No, bike safety is a, a huge issue. Um, you know, kids being safe, the helmets are a good thing. That's important. Other things I like to see kids wearing are maybe some elbow pads, maybe some knee pads and gloves. Mm -hmm. You know, because a bike accident, you know, you can get scraped up pretty easily. Have you ever done that when you wiped out? Yeah, get that road rash going. That's yeah, not good. Yeah, exactly. But no, as far as riding on the road, kids should always ride on the right-hand side of the road. Right-hand side. Which is your right hand, Taylor? There you go. There you go. You got to stay on the right, just like the cars. Just like the cars. Uh, people on bicycles, whether it's kids or adults, have to obey all the traffic rules that people okay. driving cars do. So I see a stop sign you on my bike. Stop. I better stop. Correct. You can get a ticket running a stop sign on a bicycle just like you can driving a car. Okay. And they're not cheap. They're $195. $195? $195. You don't stop your bike at the stop sign. Should you stop at the stop sign? Yeah, yeah. I think so. That's a lot of money. Uh, but speed limits have to be followed. And I know mm -hmm. most bikes don't come with speedometers and stuff like that. But riding with the traffic, mm -hmm. you'll be able to tell how fast you're going. Um, and you always need to share the road with the cars, just like the cars have to share the road with you. So if there's a car coming up behind you, we want to get as close to the right hand side as we can. Correct. Let that car get by safely, keep us safe on a bike. Exactly. And that's really important for kids because they're a lot smaller than most of the cars on the road, aren't they? Very true. And having, you know, if, you, if, if people, kids, adults ride their bikes at night, having their reflectors, Maybe mm -hmm. having reflective tape on your helmet. I even noticed, turn around, Taylor. I even noticed he had a light on oh, the back of his helmet. Sure, does that work? Does it? That's How do you turn that one on? Up inside there? That's a perfect idea. Yeah, that really is. helps him keep safe. Bright colored clothing is, okay. is always a good thing as well. So keeping on yellow, white, Anything that's bright, bright it's going to show up in yep. the sunshine. The darker the colors, especially in the evening and at night, yeah. you know, motorists are going to have a hard time seeing anybody. So you've got a good reflector on your front. That's good. And a light. Here, I see that. Got another reflector on your back tire. That's good. You bet. Good deal. Now, all in all, Taylor, you're looking pretty good. I wondered about, you know, here in the parking lot, when kids come to the library, um, if they're stopping here, where should they put their bikes? Well, out in front of the, the library is, we do have a bike rack. Uh huh. Um, I see a lot of kids putting them in front of the doors and stuff, just laying them on the sidewalk. That's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. It's not safe. Plus, once in a while, they tend to get taken. Yeah. Okay, but if people want to use the bike racks, use a bike lock, a bike cable, yep. you know, when they're done, come out get their bike and go back to whatever they were doing. It's always going to be safe. Exactly. You know, last week in the library with some of my story time kids, we were talking about firefighters okay. and we talked about fire hydrants. And I asked some of the kids if they thought they should ever park their bike up against a fire hydrant. What do you think? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we decided. That would really be a bad idea. Exactly. Once in a while I see, not, ex not necessarily fire hydrants, but I'll see people uh, using a bike lock for their bike, but they, you know, street signs and stuff like that. It's not what they're des no. designed for. So. No, there's a lot of bike racks at public buildings and Correct. public spaces. Yeah, the schools have them, public mm -hmm. buildings have them, so that's so, what you should use. So if you come over, put that bike in the bike rack in front of the library, okay? Good idea. And yep, if you have a lock, then nobody's ever going to steal it. Exactly. Good idea. 
What about um, turning on the streets? You know, you come to that stop sign, are you ready to turn the corner? There aren't turn signals on Taylor's bike. No, there isn't, but you got built in turn signals. You gotta use your hands. Taylor, you do you know go. how to use your hands for turn signals? What's a right hand turn? What's a left hand turn? Oh, perfect. And what's a stop? Do you remember? Putting it <laughs> straight down by your side. That's letting everybody know behind you which way you're going. Mm -hmm. Very good. And like I said, people just need to use those so you can let the motoring public know. Because mm -hmm. if I'm in a big car, especially if I'm driving a van or a Suburban, something big, and this little guy's down here on a bike, that just helps me see him that much more, doesn't it? Exactly. You've got your arms out there for a turn signal. You're really letting people know you're there. Bikes are so much fun. We've been, oh, they are. I've got all kinds of books up in the library about bike safety and stories about riding bikes, and swimming and horseback riding, and so many good things we can do in the summer. Oh, exactly, and weather, weather like this, people need to be out. Perfect day, and exactly. we've got great trails around Huxley. We really do. You can go down there and get on the bike trail and really be safe, right? Exactly. You don't have to be out in the street if you're just getting some exercise. Very true. I think it's a good idea. We were talking about the High Trestle Trail, weren't we? You been out there? Yeah, good good places to ride and keeps us safe. But it's a good way to get around town too. Exactly, and it's good exercise too. Stop at those stop signs. Stop at the stop signs right on the right hand side Stay of the road. Stay on the right hand side. And make sure you use your turn signals. Turn signals, good things. And I don't want a $195 ticket, uh, so I'm going to stop at the stop sign. Exactly. Okay, are you going to stop at the stop sign? Good deal. All right. Hey, thanks. Oh, you're welcome. It's good to see you. You too. Come on up and visit Have us at the today. library. Have fun today. Be careful riding your bike, okay? Okay. All right. No parking lot riding. Is that a good idea? <clears throat> For the most part, no. Okay. You never know when somebody's going to be coming through the parking lot, where they're going to be parking, or what way they're going. So let's go back to the library on the sidewalk, okay, Taylor? Okay, let's go. All right. See you, you later. Care. You bet. You going to ride back? Sure. Okay. I'll catch up. Phew, <laughs> all that bike riding made me tired. But it was so much fun to run into Banana Man when I was on my bike ride, and he really did give us some good reminders when we're out on the trails about keeping your bike in good working order and remembering to wear your helmet. And it was really fun to get a ride on his bike. That was so different than riding my just plain old two-wheel bike. I had the same kind Curious George had in our book, remember? And you know my friend Taylor? He helped me get some good information from Chief Pote too, didn't he? There are definitely rules of the road we need to follow and so I'm glad we got to visit with him and be reminded of stopping at stop signs and using our hand signals for turning and really being careful in parking lots because on your bike you're a lot smaller than cars and big trucks. So it's been a good day even though I'm tired from all that exercise and I found a couple other books here in the library about bikes. This one is really fun. It's just called Bikes, but it has some great pictures and examples of the different kind of bikes, kind of like what we found with Banana Man. So here's a tricycle. I bet a lot of you have ridden tricycles. I still have one from when I was a little kid. Do you believe it? And big kids ride bicycles and babies ride bicycles. Hey, you ever seen one of these? It's not a bicycle at all, it's a unicycle with only one wheel. Now that takes some balance. Tandem bikes have two seats. That's kind of like what Banana Man had, wasn't it? Two seats on his bike. Racing bikes going by fast. And hey, that bike doesn't move at all. It's an exercise bike. You could find one of those here at Three C's when you don't really want to go anywhere, but you still want to get the exercise. There's a motorcycle jumping. I think that's a trick bike, don't you? All kinds of things, mopeds and scooters, bikes with knobby tires, bikes with big fat tires. We can learn all kinds of different things from this simple book of just telling us more about bikes. And there's great stories, one about Froggy. This one's just called The Bicycle Man. It's a story taking place in another part of the world Bicycles are everywhere. You know, one of my favorite books about bicycles isn't at the library right now because someone does have it checked out. It's a story called The Red Bicycle. 
and it's a great story about some kids who donated their bicycles and they ended up in Africa to help people on the other side of the world. Lots of good books on bikes. This one looks like you could be riding right around Iowa, doesn't it? Cows in the background, beautiful trees. And we have good books at the library to remind us about those safety rules. Wearing helmets, turn signals, stopping, all that stuff. So if you don't remember them or you want to help teach your brother or sister about the safety rules, we have books about that too. And I didn't find them all. We can get you lots more books about bicycles and bike riding and other summer activities. So before school gets started, come check some of them out. Summer's not over yet. So come in and see me at the library and we'll have a great time finding you the right books. Thanks for coming to Kathy's Corner. I'll see you next time. Thank you.